Hey folks, this is Noble Rambler, and welcome to Ostriv, and welcome to Patch 4. It has landed. Patch 4 is going to give us the, the warehouse. Let's zoom in and look at this. So this will be able to store non-food items, including things like wheat and sunflower oil and, and sunflower seeds, so that uh, I guess you can haul them away from the farms to a production area somewhere else then they can grab from here instead of grabbing from the farms. So that's a feature I hadn't thought about when I was thinking about the warehouse. But that's what it looks like. Little building only holds four items, kind of like the market stalls. So just get a list of four that's going to be in there. So think of it more as a specialized location rather than uh, an all-city general storage facility. Um, what else? happened here let me let me look the town over real quick first though before i start going through patch four's notes um we're in the harvest we are employed we got five people there we're looking for five plus two we only got the five at this point um over here we only need one or two and we got them okay um and even then they're they're uh we can probably do away with one because uh, she's going to be able to handle this just fine. Um, let's run through this real quick. And you see there's, there's new boxes down here. So we'll, we'll talk about all that in a moment. I wonder though if this ever got... This wasn't mentioned in the notes. Nothing about the boats. So I guess that didn't get addressed this time. Okay. Um, over here. Thatch. Let's not worry about that one right now. Nails are... Yeah, we have somebody working in the nails, and we've got no call for a carpenter, so pull you out of there. We do need wood, though. 20 wood. Okay, two two should be enough. That'll keep up with what we're doing. Um, over here, we got a couple folks. And what else? There's no... Think about that. We've got no calls for anything right now. So we don't need all these people in here. They can go to work doing other things. Uh, we have in here 23 of 24 sunflower oil and 15 of 15 potatoes. Okay, so that's looking good. Over here, sunflower. Don't remember how many are left right now. Well, not many, so we're just down to one guy doing it. That's fine. What else is an issue? These are all turned off. And over here, we've got lots of flax now. So you're the weaver... Hmm, let's bring on a lady right there, and Taylor, yes, and don't need a shoemaker. So I think that is, oh, right here, that's the last of the uh, the big question marks. And the other one is being torn down right now. Yep. Um, hmm, Timothy? Timothy is working on taking it apart. Okay. So up here, we've got, you are up there. Yeah, so let's move you over. want that done. You are over here, and you are right there. All right, so now I've got a sense of what's going on here, and everything seems to be under control. Okay, so warehouse. We've seen that one. Um, oh, here's a neat new feature to show you. Let's say in that warehouse, but we we'll use a trading post as an example, that we want to put... Um, we, we will be able to put firewood in there. We'll pick wood. Instead of clicking and clicking and clicking and clicking, now you can hold the shift button down and move by tens. Oh, yeah. We don't need that one. Um, what else? Construction queue has changed. I told you about that, but let's see it in action. Let's just say that I wanted to go uh, crazy like, like, like Murphy and throw a whole neighborhood in all at once. <laughs> <laughs> He'll just go here and, yeah, this looks good here. And let's put you there and there. Well, for, just for Murphy, look at that. It, it shrinks them down so that they still fit into this space and doesn't overlap this anymore. Before, it would come over and grow over all of this, and you couldn't get to activate any of these as a result. And, yeah, what's it going to take to get rid of these now? <laughs> Demolish. <laughs> All right, that's done. That's done. I was just watching uh, Murphy's a little while ago. He's got, uh, he does it a little different than me. He'll set up a large section of the town, and then he will time lapse. I wonder who's out of money, hmm? Oh, it's a different one. Yeah, pause. But he will uh, uh, time lapse through a building. So he'll set it in and, and watch the construction and let them do their thing, and then head over and watch them do their thing over there, and, and rather than the minute by minute, uh, 
blows that, that I give the way I do it. So different uh, different style. Um, you, we missed one. Demolish. Okay. Um, what was I doing? Money. You. You. Out of money. Why? You're both unemployed. Unemployed? There are no... There's nobody looking for jobs right now. And there are 30 vacancies for men and 13 for women. So the game is just in the middle of doing some recalculating. There's not much I can do right now. Is that... Uh, I mean, I could open this up. Oh, you guys have all left here. Why have you left here? Okay. Yeah, the game did a little bit of recalculating. It's firing everybody. Uh-oh. <laughs> yep, the mayor is uh, is uh, having a tantrum, and everybody's fired. Yep. Okay. Well, we don't worry about that. I'm, uh, nothing I can do to control it. Uh, next on the list. Um, cowshed workers now also move hay from dryers to hay barracks. So that must have been what was going on. They would come out. We've seen them. In fact, she's going to do it right now, isn't she? Yep, she's going to form a, a pile of of green grass, cut it up, and then toss it over here to uh, to dry in the sun. That was a house, I think. And then they would never seem to get over here to the hay barracks. And turn out what it was is the cowshed workers could only do part of the job. And the laborers would have to do the other part of the job. And the laborers were always busy. So that part never got done, and it seemed like you know they were just never put away. So now they can do both jobs. So when they're not tending the uh, the cattle, then they are out here working on this stuff. So that's great. Gives a reason for that. And I got a question for you guys. Something that I don't know the answer of, but some of you probably do. I have rarely seen milk mentioned, whether in the reserved or the the what's the other word that's used there um going to get whatever it starts with an a um anyway they get milk from the cow shed from the cattle but i almost never see it is there a certain age that the cows have to be to get milk from them i mean like two years old and older so it's only just now that we're going to start seeing cows old enough to, to even give us milk or something like that is there an age limit there because i almost never see milk in here we're asking for milk to go to all the merchant stalls, but I almost never see it in the system. So is it an age thing? Or is that just something that's not fully functioning in the game yet? And and we'll get into into that next patch. Um, speaking of a repair, um, these ladies were bringing water in at point, 0 0.1 water, and that's been changed to bring it in at one at a time. And the amount brought in was increased. I don't see that happening yet in either one, but it may be that some of the the, uh, the functions for the patch are not going to happen in mine because this is an old save. So it's quite possible. Um, it does say that at the bottom of the list that uh, it won't. Uh, some of these things will not come into effect for old saves. Oh, what else? Cowshed worker. Yeah, we got that one. And hiring. Okay, let's look at hiring over here. We've now got hiring options, but it isn't quite as open as it looks. Jobs that could only handle or only work with men still can only work with men. I'm clicking hire women and it won't work. So it's really meant for jobs where both were available. The uh, market stall. If I don't want Yaroslav working here, I can say hire only women and fire new fire and hire and only a woman will will, will uh, seek that job there now so jobs where both were available you can pick whom you wish but jobs that were only meant for one or the other are still only going to allow one or the other but now we can choose how much you want to pay them so that if we want to make sure that we've always got fishermen working in here lately hasn't been an issue so what has been an issue? <clears throat> Nails was at one time. If we want to make sure that now I can't hire women if I wanted to, but I can hire men and I can give them a new, no, 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 
go back there, there, give you a 110% to make sure that this is a job that you'd be crazy to leave because it's one of the best paying jobs in town. Even though it's far enough away from houses that it's the one that they're going to want to walk away from normally. Or to make sure that, um, oh, that, that you've got your workers when you need them. Let's say we want to make sure that the laborers fill in. So let's let laborers come in for women at 120%. We'll come back and see if these two are filled even though these aren't. Now they may leave their market stall job to go and take that job. So that's one way to, to use that. Um, last thing on my second screen over there is hay dryers are now more tolerant to steep slopes. So apparently we couldn't have put a hay dryer on here before, but now we can. So that's that's kind of nice. So we, there's another use. Um, fields will go down steep slopes, and now hay dryers will. Unlike buildings, you know, I was playing this with this a little bit before getting started, thinking that this would be a great place to put the new warehouse. And it does not want to build here all uneven. The only way I can get this in here is to rotate around and put you something like that. And I'm not sure that that's what I want. I don't know. We'll have to think about that. So I think that's all the catching up. Um, I haven't been watching or paying attention. None of the towns are highlighted, so should be nothing there. Broke family, negative a dollar. Okay, the mom is not employed still, even though we've still got, got wow, labor positions that are paying 20% more, and we're still not filling them. Interesting. I wonder why that is. Um, back to here. Five-year-old and a three-year-old, so it's not that she's staying home with the kids. That's not it. Huh. Father, uh, we still can't click on them to find them. Okay, so Ivanico family, are you over here? Not there. Uh, manager? Mm, no, but ah, there we go. Hey, there she is. She just got a job. That's her. She's taking a rest, but the income is going up. Yeah. All right. So hopefully the uh, the season will last long enough to uh, to keep her going. Yeah, they're going to be here for a while. They are going to be here for a while. It's September now. Hmm. Well, there's not much more I can do there other than just put more people in. All right, then. So I guess we can speed this up a little. Do we shut down construction while we're doing this? We probably should at least pause this one. Yeah, let's make sure that we've got these farms. Well, they are employed, aren't they? They actually are. All right, let's open this one more job up over here. And let's go ahead and open this up to two laborers here as well. And over here, we'll leave it just like that. She's still employed at the good job. Okay. Otherwise, we still have fishing. Still do. And not much more to do with trading. Okay. Um, one other thing that I noticed last episode, when I was looking through the economy tab of the town hall, when I s looked at manager's wage, I was thinking that was the mayor's wage. So these managers here are actually these managers here. Don't know that we need to pay them that much more. I really don't. What was that? That was a house that just came in. Oh, I have no choice. Oh, okay. The only thing I can do to even them out is to pay these guys more. Now, we have done 400 and some in trading this year, and we are ahead by two. So, was it 150 more? So, we would have been... Am I seeing that right? We would have been 150 in the hole this year? I think so. I'll try to remember to pop back in here at the end of the year and see what it really turns out to be. So we still don't have the economy paying for itself yet because we had a whole year of not being able to sell anything to our own folks. Now we've got hemp coming in. 
and we're going to have it coming in pretty quick. Quick enough to probably go ahead and, and fill this up and get using it. Hemp is not in stock yet, though. We're going to have three fields worth, four fields worth when it's all done. So, boy, do I fire you again? <laughs> um, September, let's go ahead and set gathering here for a while. We'll do that. That will bring a lot of this hemp in. Uh, probably starting here. If that's field one, then field two would be hemp this year. Two, yeah. All right, let's look at this now. This is the, the next year. All right, so when you're at the end of the season, orange is the following year. That is a little frustrating. You know what I would love to see is an, I don't know, yeah, I guess that'd be the same as an arrow underneath or a dot underneath, but it's the same thing as as an orange outline. You just got to have a little orange square here. This is orange equals current or following year. I don't know. Messenger from right here. You guys are the sunflower people. Uh-huh. With hemp and wheat. Well, we could do one more run. We missed out last time by seconds, so it's very yeah, I'd say we can go ahead and do that. Uh, sunflower, did we... We got one crop in over there, and that was it. Okay, so in stock now, 5 plus what's in the field. So, so far in the field is something that's all scrambled up right there, and I can't read it. Okay, because harvest writes over the top of it. Ends at an 8, and I think there's a 3 in there somewhere. Hmm... Okay, it's a mystery. So there is more coming for the town. Let's go ahead and sell the 24. And all in one shot? Don't see why not. Now let's split it up anyway. Just in case there's any advantage to that. There's a problem and we only lose one, half of it instead of all of it. You and sunflower oil, you. Sunflower oil and oil, yep. Yeah. So you guys come in for the 24, and then we're done selling that for a while. We only have enough here for ourselves for next year, so it'll be another year before we get that one fixed. So when snow hits, we're going to go through and completely redo all the fields. Is this field ready to go in? As soon as that goes away, and as soon as these go away. But I was worried about doing that. Hmm... I think that's where I was too. No, I set more over there. So if I put the if I demolish these, that's gonna hurt us, but you we're still in season. All of these will then go to there and or there. And there's one, two, three, four, five. There'll be six full ones when it's done. And you are hauling it. Are you hauling it to where it used to be? Did you recalculate? You did. You're going over there. All right. Well, that then frees up this whole area to delete this field and make it wider for this pathway here and drop another one in here and line it up pretty much with this road through here. Yeah, I like that. You, your influence is where? We should be fine there. Okay. Family's out of money. You are the same one. Working farm and farm. And awaiting for sunflower oil, firewood, and potatoes, and that's what ran you in debt. I'm guessing. That seems to be the way it's working. Everything's paused. On construction. Okay. So let's kick that speed up again. I think I've covered about everything. Let's see. Notes. Coming up. The two cow sheds. And farm four. And then, what was that last one? Was that just this one going away? Probably. It was close to a dollar. We're half that now. And then I want to make sure to get luxury goods out here. Maybe we'll try to make this, you know, the houses up on the hill overlooking everyone, more of the, the posh, uh, rich neighborhood. How would we do that? Get the shoemaker up. Yeah, get a shoemaker up here and a clothing maker up here. And then all the stalls in here. You know, Saks Fifth Avenue will be up in, in, the, in this area. <laughs> All right, what is there for me to do right now? I could, well, I can't really. I was going to say I could lay out the uh, the cow shed, but I don't want to touch these till they've been emptied and put onto the, uh, onto the racks. So I'm kind of stuck there. All the stuff goes away when I lay those out. 
And I'm kicking around moving this guy. It just, it would look so much better. Problem is, though, I don't know how much I'm missing by continuing this town for too long and not taking all the advantages of all the you know, all the, the good things that happened in patch 4 and maybe even patch 5 by the time this town is finished. So don't think I'm going to be able to, to keep going you know, all the way into the distance with this town. I just don't go fast enough to, uh, to overtake the patches. We're in October. We've got stuff in, so the ladies are, are working on the, on the hemp. You a lady? Boris, you're not a lady. Let's hire ladies here. No more men. This is a place for the ladies to bring an income in. We'll do that. And where else for something like that? Same thing here. Same thing here. Though, textile 0.05. And we haven't created the textile yet. So I think we're going to need more people in the weaving hut than we're going to need in the textile. I don't get the sense that it's going to work at the same rate. Or else it needs more textile than, than hemp when it's all done. Um, same thing here. Let's do the same thing here. There's no need for men to be working in these jobs. We don't need the uh, the heavy lifting. What other jobs would work best for that? And I guess while I'm thinking about all of this, where do we and how do we use the new warehouse? Be nice to get that in this episode. Got to think about that though. I mean, one does need to be here. We've got all the production right here, so one does need to be in this area. I really wanted it to face the road, but I can't do that. Like so. Yeah, not a thing that I can do there. If I get to here so that the orange goes away, then it's uneven. So here is where it's going to have to be and off the road a little bit. Something like that. Yeah, we'll do that. And that one we will queue up to be done this time. How are we doing here? we got a lot to go here. We're in the middle of October and we're not uh, gathering. And we're still taking a long time. This one we're gathering. We don't need to continue gathering. We just wanted to get some of that hemp brought in. And we did. There's seven in there. Okay. There's lots of potatoes in there. So that's good enough. Over here we just need to get people working. we got lots of people. Hmm. And this lady here is no longer working in that one position. But she's still at a farm somewhere. Okay. Hmm. Other jobs that would be best for the ladies to do? Probably the farms. Probably so. Again, they bring in one unit at a time, whether they're male or female. So save the men for for uh, the construction. And maybe as we, our population increases... And the ladies can stay employed there. The men can continue working all this. Hello. So, uh, pause. You. We do have two guys in there. Let's put a third one just for now. There we go. Let's just make sure that this happens. And the money should start rolling in. Ooh, we're going to touch a thousand again. Back to where we started. Don't know how long we'll we'll uh, stay there. This was a banner year for for trade for us. It's not going to happen again next time. Um, we can trade. To my knowledge, I again I don't know if anything else has changed in the patch, but to my knowledge, we can only trade shoes and sunflower oil. Clothes won't trade. Wood and firewood and all that won't trade. So and then we've got potatoes that we can trade. There's not as many choices. Um, anyways, you guys brought in some firewood at a loss, so you're still you're still bouncing. But as long as they've got food, which isn't much, they got milk. You guys got milk. What's happening here with milk? Hey, we're storing hay four and four now. Oh, good. Well, that that is really good to see. That tells me that maybe I don't have to uh, restart the map to take advantage of of the of the patch four issues. Okay. Well, as long as nothing crashes, we're good. Hmm. All right. So thinking about warehouses, 
putting this one in. We'll kind of watch that for a little bit while, while I'm talking. So it's going to be able to take things like firewood, wood, and nails and thatch. As well as the... Uh, there's a hot spot right here for birds. It's like you're in the forest. I've noticed that before. This little hillside. But um, then it can also take hemp and probably the what's the cloth or the uh, uh, textile. I don't know. Well, we'll find out when we get there. So in other words, only four items, but keeping people from having to walk over to here to get their firewood. We could make sure the firewood is an option in all of the uh, uh, warehouses. So firewood's in all of them. And what? We could get a good center of building materials stored up in one out over here somewhere and then get a cart um, storage next to it. So when they need... Hello, I've never seen this before. I've never seen the the running of the bulls. <laughs> Look at that. I've always looked over and they were all in the field. Okay, slow that down. Um, so that stopped me mid-sentence. Wow. <laughs> I was going to say, let's see what we've got here. Current 5, waiting water. What was that noise? That was the warehouse. Okay, well... No, it wasn't. It's over there. But it's not here. What? Okay, I'm confused now. There it is. What are you? You're a house. You're a warehouse. Okay. What are we having cattle right now? We've got a three-year-old bull, a seven-month-old bull, and here's another question for you guys. Something I don't know. If there is one bull in a cow shed is that going to give you the maximum amount of babies or if more bulls if the ratio to bull, from bulls to cows is higher will there be more baby cattle baby cows at the end of the year or does the presence of one initiate whatever is needed for that group of cattle and that's good enough we've got plenty over here plenty enough that well I can't really go through and and take out these bulls at the point at this moment because there's still only one that's one year or older to breed so that's not going to happen no milk in here still curious how the milk works how to predict the milk yeah okay so with that let's get into here so we've got our new whoa fast camera got our new warehouse what are we going to do with it at this point At this point, you know, I didn't see textile when I was kind of perusing through here before I started. And I don't now either. So we're into basic raw materials, not finished products. Interesting. So textile will not store here. It will not store in the granary. It will not store in the market stalls. Will it store in a trader? Um, there we go. Zoom out here. Trader. Is that a choice here? It's like it's not part of the list of the town items. Okay. Does textile show up here? It's a longer list. I got hemp down there, but I don't have textile. Is it because we're completely out? There's five textiles stored. And there's some clothes store that are going to get taken away every time even a you know, point one is made. Um, and we've got no textile here, though. Okay. As fast as they make it, it gets brought over, it gets turned into clothes, and it's gone. But this never goes below point five. I don't know what's with that. It's like point five is the new zero. I uh, just hit November. We have a little bit left over here. We're done here. We're done here. Don't need you two. Okay. You two are gone for the year. You have to find other things to do. Um, two guys in here. Flower supply. Is that listed in here? I don't remember it being available to see in this list either. All right, there's nothing there. Over here, flower. Reserved. No flower there. In the stalls. 
I'm I haven't really seen flower in a long time. There's a little bit right there. There's some flower, but it's there's never much. 1.1 1 .1, 0 0.6. Let's go ahead and get this up and going again. We'll continue you. You'll be the next project. And this house is over here. Let's go ahead and get this area done. Continue you. You're there. So let's put you over here. And that one, that one, and that one. We'll get these houses in. Okay. All right. So what's going to happen over here? We can have a worker. And probably guys would be best. They can cart it themselves to go out and get all the hemp. And deposit it here. And these ladies can just make quick trips over and grab the hemp. That sounds like a great idea. Hemp, let's... Boy, how do I say all of it? We'll just do 20 for now. Um, sunflowers on the other side of town. Wood, okay, firewood. And let's bring 100 firewood in. So hold down the shift and 10 clicks. All right, so there will always be firewood in this one for these folks to come and get. What else would be beneficial to them? I'm trying to think of the building this reminds me of in Banished in the Mega Mod. Boy, it's been a long time since I played Banished. That would act kind of like the same function. You'd set up what you want, they would go out all around the map and bring it to it so there'd be localized points of some of the materials in different parts of the map. I used to use them to leapfrog materials from one area to the other. They had a sphere of influence around them, so just at the edge of the sphere I'd put another one and they'd just keep stealing from each other and eventually spreading it out throughout the whole map. Um, so this, you know, by thinking that way, we've got here take from other warehouses. So we click this and they're able to go in and raid from each other until it eventually kind of levels off around the whole map. Everyone's got about the same amount. So I think that's how that's going to function. Firewood? Hmm. We could set up a place that has all the building materials, the thatch and nails and... we have lumber in here? We have wood, yeah. So that they're not going all the way over here for all the building materials, no matter what the project is. In fact, maybe that's like right here. You know, I kind of like that. Let's let's pop another one in right there. Um, let's see, you're over here. And warehouse. So if we did that over here... What do we want for trails over here? I'm thinking a trail is going to kind of cut through the middle of all this. Which means I'm going to be... Let's see, can I just touch that? That's fairly square. Will I be cutting into that? What if we spun this around? And see, what do you look like over here? All right, you can actually butt right up against that. Well, that's about as close as I'm going to get. So by doing that, we, that's the uh, uh, the cart storage right there, so nothing happens at the end. So if I touch you right there and get as close to the fence as it'll let me, let's see, if I touch the T again and the R, hmm, nope, I'm going to have to do it this way. All right, so there and out. That will still leave a tiny little point in between. I don't think I like that. Don't think I like that. If I go over here, what if we do this? Okay. That runs the path along the fence line right here. Hmm. I kind of like that better. But the idea is whatever we're going to be building out here in the future, this point will already have some lumber, thatch, nails, and clay. I, I, well, I don't know about clay. Don't know about clay. I didn't actually see that. Let's go right there. All right, we'll do that. You are not as big of an issue. We'll leave you down there at the moment. Um, was there clay? Here. Plus. No clay. So you still have to go out there to get the clay. All right. So wood over in our little production area. Doesn't make sense. Thatch, hay, hay is only used for the cattle. There's no reason to have it over here. Salt, we want to eventually get out of our trader and store somewhere. At the, this point, I'm not aware of what to use it for. 
So that was just an experiment. Actually, it was an experiment. I have never went back to verify. We still have 5 and 5, so they've not found a use for the salt yet. Okay. Um, continue down the list. So salt and limes down there. Hemp we're doing. Firewood we're doing. Textile. How come I didn't see that before? Textile. Yes, we'll take all the textile. So firewood there. Let's do... Now, I don't know how this is going to work. We'll say 10 textile. I don't know if they're going to actually then start stealing it out of the tailor's workshop. So they have to keep going back and get it again. I wonder how that is balanced. Who gets higher priority to keep the textile? Are they going to, I wonder if we're going to see a little war back and forth between these two buildings. I hope not. But uh, yeah, that's interesting. I thought about that. But that's it, right? Firewood, hemp, nail, salt, hay, thatch, wood, sunflower, wheat. No point in wheat. No point in sunflower. There's really nothing else here that makes any sense. So we're just going to leave it to that. And we've got here Bowden. He's going to go off and get some hemp and drop it off here. And about as fast as he drops it off, I would imagine these ladies are going to be in there pulling all back out of it again. And that's fine. And with that, I don't really need any more laborer by carts. I can turn that off. This is now the laborer by cart for the whole area. So same thing here. Don't need that there. And don't need that here which saves laborers to do other jobs. I'm running out of November. Are we good? We're good there. We're good there. Snow's going to hit soon. And I think my episode's got to end soon, too. These episodes go by way too fast. They really do. I'm just figuring it all out by the time it's time to turn it off. All right. I think we are officially out of season. So they're going to come through, hopefully, continue to take strip these two down, unless we've hit a max already. That's possible. Uh, hey, 10, 10, 10. What do you want to bet the 10's the max? Let's take one more in real quick so we can get these emptied and still get the ability to use the... Uh... Now, why is hay stored under trade and transport and not under production? There's something for you to scratch your head over. Um, so I want to put one right here. And I want to put one right here. So that one is probably going to have to leave next year. Where else can I put one of these? That won't affect anything. That's a main road right there. Huh. I guess we could flip it around. Not that one. Let's flip this one around. And put you just on the back side until I figure this out. Something like that. It's odd that I can no longer... Well, I guess that does match up. It was just a little crooked to begin with. Okay, we'll do that. So you can be there, and that should give them a new place to... What are you carrying? That's flour. That's a lot of flour. Man. That's a backbreaker. And that's 0.3 flour. And you're going where with it? Path, you are going home. You're taking that flour with you. <laughs> okay and with that yeah i think we're going to call this done next time we'll go through and, and figure out the what the fields are supposed to be you know we'll get all of our hemp out there all of our wheat over here all of our uh sunflower over here and we'll get farm four set up and ready to plant potatoes next year so with that i think we're going to call this one done so noble rambler thank you guys for watching and i'll catch you next time Bye bye